Hi guys, welcome back to another I hauled it, but did I like it? I have the worst hiccups ever, so this could be completely interesting. And I'm sorry if I'm too dark. I'm not really sure what the hell is going on with these lights lately, but last week, if you didn't notice my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday videos, it was like a sunbeam on my face. You could barely even see my freaking nose. So I'm trying to scale them back a little bit. I mean, some days they're good, some days they're bad, and I think it has to do with my camera, honestly, but I'm not sure, and I don't like it. So let's try to get past the hiccups, the fact that I feel like I may have pneumonia, and the lighting. Let's do that, and let's get into this, because I have some awesome things to talk to you guys about today. first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is something that I haven't hauled. I actually just recently got it last week, but I want to talk to you guys about it. And it is a brush and it's by Kaith, I think, K-A-I-T-H. And it's a brand from Amazon. I got it from, I think, Amazon Review Trader to review. And it's just like a flat top brush for contouring. And it's kind of smaller than a normal brush, but it's so soft but I didn't know if it would be good for contouring just because it's really thick. And I got a little scared. I have to be honest here. I was just like, Ugh, is this more for cream? Is it more for powder? I used it for powder. Um, and you guys will see that probably Friday, maybe Wednesday, most likely Wednesday. You will see the get ready with me on this look. And I used this and it actually worked out perfectly with powder. I have not tried it with cream because I am not a cream person. I don't have a lot of cream items at all and the ones that I do have I don't use but I do not have a cream contour kit so I can't test it out in that theory but I do know that with powders this is perfect. Now previously what I was using to contour with was the Real Techniques contour brush and this works great especially for around the forehead. You know it doesn't work for my nose and I did notice that when I used it for my cheek contour it just wasn't getting that straight line that I wanted with you know for my contour. It was kind of just a good blender, blender outer I guess I, that makes any kind of sense but this actually gives me a straight defined line while I'm contouring and I really really appreciated that I don't find it too easy to blend with this or like get up on my forehead it kind of it's just weird maybe I need to use it a little bit more get some better skill going with this sucker I'm not sure but I do know that for a cheek contour and especially under the chin as well this is amazing and it's so soft it's really really cheap so I'll leave a link for it down below if you guys are interested in this I actually love finding brushes on Amazon because a lot of them are dupes for like Sigma stuff like that and you get them for a quarter of the price because they're not hyped up on YouTube all right moving on I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of products that I hauled last Friday in that five under five dollar makeup haul and I wanted to give myself a few weeks but these are things that I already have a definite definite review on the first thing is the mascara. Now this is the LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara. Very, very small. My issue with this is I don't like it. That's my issue with it. I think that it was horrible. Now I tried it when I had no makeup on because I really wanted to see what it would do to my lashes. It spread them out a little bit, you know, it kind of combed through them, but it gave no color no length and no volume and I noticed that at the top there is quite a bit of product you know at the top there's a little flap with the product but when I put it on my hand there's like one little tiny streak like look there's nothing it's such a dry formula or because of how it's encased how they made it the product isn't getting up onto the rest of the wand and it's just doing nothing like it absolutely does nothing unless you take the little goop at the end of it and stick it on your eyelashes and then work through it and I just did not like this at all it really did absolutely nothing this would be great though if you have like a young teenager or a kid that plays with makeup in their room that you don't let out of the house you know stuff like that it would be good for them because it would be a good you know teach yourself how to apply mascara without poking yourself in the freaking eye but you know this is not for adults i really i just didn't care for it at all and the next item is the city colors and this is the b matte blush this one is in what color are you i think i bitched about you before blackberry i said i would call it sugar plum they should have hired me i don't know why they didn't i mean sometimes people's minds just 
go elsewhere. But this is an all matte blush. It's very, very beautiful. It's It goes on very nice, very pigmented. It's easy to work with. The only thing about this is it does not last long. I think I put it on uh, about half an hour later, I had to reapply, and it was a little bit of a pain in the butt, but once it's applied and it's applied nicely, it's so beautiful and it's just so creamy and easy to work with, and I would highly recommend picking these up, especially if you don't have the funds for a lot of drugstore blushes or even high-end. I mean, I'm going to actually go back and buy the other two that were at five below because I liked it that much. I mean, it's not an all holy grail blush but it's definitely something that's worth having in your collection it's it would make a good gift I mean these are worth it they're definitely worth the price they work really really nicely they are really powdery though but if you just kind of tap your blush brush into it real quick a couple of times you'll get the perfect amount and you just this is something that you do have to reapply and that's a little crappy but I mean you get what you pay for and for what I paid for this perfect. I have no issues at all with this. I would highly, highly recommend these. I use this as well in the Get Ready With Me and I've used it for about a week and I'm sold that it is definitely worth the price. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is the Dr. D. Schwab. This is something that I believe that I got in my FabFit Fun Box. Um, a lot of people didn't know what it was. It's a moisturizer. This is probably, you know, it's a good product, but it's not for me. You know, it's one of those kind of products. This would be good on people who have dry skin, who use a lot of like extra oils in their foundation or add something into their foundation to give yourself a more luminous look. This would be perfect. This is kind of like a cream color, I want to say. It's, uh, well, maybe a muted kind of white. It's a muted kind of white and it's very, very easy to like blend out. It's, it's, you know, not just a moisturizer. There's some tint there. But when you actually spread it out, it's shimmery. And I mean, not chunky glitter, you know, not like sparkles. It's just shimmery, like luminous. So it will give your skin this very luminous glow. Now, I put this on as a moisturizer, and I did it at night, not really thinking. And my husband was like, wow, you look really, really greasy. And I was like, what? And because I didn't really feel greasy. So I went and looked in the mirror, and it was just shimmer everywhere and I'm like ooh, that's why I look greasy is because I'm literally reflecting off everything so this isn't something that I would use alone or tell you guys to use alone as a moisturizer this is something that I would either say add into a foundation or you know put it on before your foundation before you're about to put makeup on don't use it alone and if you have dry skin you probably absolutely love this it would I mean it really was a beautiful luminous glow but for someone who has oily skin it made me look so greasy that even my husband who is you know he usually he's the kind of guy that if I had a booger in my nose he wouldn't tell me you know he'd just be like you know he's too nice too nice you know even he told me you look a little greasy so while this is a great product, you know, it would work perfect for someone with dry skin or even dry patches, combo skin, I would not use this alone. It's not, in my opinion, for oily skin people. Maybe I can try it in a foundation during the summer, but this isn't something that I'm going to use or grab for or ro like rotate for. I'm not going to rotate for this baby. I'm not going to reach for this product a lot just because it's not really meant for my skin. It doesn't really work for me. The next product I want to talk about is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I heard Jaclyn Hill speak about this, and that's what really kind of turned me on to it. And then I also saw that Candy Johnson absolutely loves this, and they both use it as a foundation, but you can use it as either a foundation or a concealer. And so I got it because I have the Clinique um, Stay Matte, I believe. Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. I have that foundation. I absolutely love that. So I wanted to try this out because Clinique's foundations are actually really good. They're like really, really good. So I tried this out. And I tried it out as a foundation and it wasn't full coverage, but it was close. But I really did not care for how it applied. Now you open it up and it's just a stick. It's just this big Dofa applicator stick, but it's too small to apply on your face unless you're only going for a light coverage. Otherwise, you're going to be here forever constantly doing this. That really looked gross. But it gets repetitive, and, you know, if you're trying to get out the door quick or you just don't want to sit around forever trying to do your makeup, as a foundation, 
I, I honestly did not care for this. The coverage was meh, you know, it was okay, but it was a pain in the ass to work with the doe foot. And I mean, there's no way to even pour it out because it's quite a whipped consistency. So you can't even kind of pour it out to get any on your hand. It is what it is with a doe foot. But as a concealer, as a concealer, I've been using this in my last two Get Ready With Me's as concealer, and I actually really, really like this as an under-eye concealer. It doesn't crease on me. It's just amazing. I absolutely love it. And it is light enough to give me a little bit of a brightening effect because I have it in alabaster because that's the color of my skin in the dead of winter, and that's what I wanted to use it for. I didn't want to have to wait until spring or summer to be able to use this. And it is kind of cheap you know I think it's like $28 for this so it's cheaper than most high-end foundations but I mean unless you are a person who likes a light to medium coverage and you don't mind the work I wouldn't get this for a foundation but that might be for you if you don't mind doing that but as a concealer this thing was bomb and it was really easy to do because the doe foot was bigger than a normal concealing doe foot so I like this I will definitely use it up but I don't think, honestly, that it's something that I would repurchase. I would definitely repurchase the Clinique Stay Matte. This shit is bomb, especially for oily skin people. It's so good. And lastly, some lippies. The first thing I want to talk about, and these are two things that I got in my Ipsy Generation um, beauty bag. I, I'm forgetting now how to even describe it. This is the Laura Geller, and this is her Love Me Do Lip Crayon. And it's in Plum Freeze. And I love anything Laura Geller. I met her. I love her. I'm just like, yeah, Laura Geller. Her face products, her powder products are amazing. This was not too amazing for me. I This is very glossy, and I'm a matte person. Let me try to draw some on for you. And it's very, very glossy. And the thing about it is it also makes a mess in the container. But the thing about this is it's very patchy. It goes on my lips very, very, very patchy. And I have to keep going over it and over it and over it in order to get kind of like an even unpatchy effect on my lips. And then it spreads. It never actually sets on my lips. And even if I just close my lips like, like that, it's like a SpaghettiO ring. You know, like kids who eat SpaghettiOs, that ring they get around their lips. That's what happens to me. This just goes everywhere. It transfers everywhere. It doesn't exactly feather. It just moves everywhere. And it's just not for me. I'm a matte lippy girl or a completely opaque lippy girl. And this wasn't that. It is very, very smooth. And for what it is, it's pretty pigmented. But I just don't care for products like this. And it's too hard to work with. And it's too much of a pain in the ass throughout the day to have on your lips. Because I'm someone who constantly has, you know, my lips touching something. Yeah. You know, like I smoke cigarettes. I know. I know. But I do. I drink constantly. I'm drinking something. Constantly I'm eating something. You know, so this is just not something for me. Um, It's quite pricey too for what it is like I'm just like I wouldn't pay that so this is one Laura Geller product that I'm just like meh, meh. and the last product is from temp to temp to I've never heard of them before I got this product in the ipsy swag bag it's a very heavy kind of like plastic at the top I don't even know if that's plastic it's more like a tin but it's weird I don't know how to explain the packaging but we don't give a shit about the the packaging it's just a like black tube but this is their let's see here just lipstick that's all it says is lipstick and this is in plum as well this shocked me this is a matte lipstick and it is the most gorgeous thing I have ever had on my lips now this is my kind of formula matte opaque beautiful it's smooth this is what I was wearing on my lips um in last week when I had the read one of these shirts on I had the maroon one and I had the braid and you all were like oh my god your makeup looks so good this was what was on my lips it's beautiful I don't have to reapply this at all no matter what I'm putting on my lips this sounds so bad but no matter what I do with my mouth it's still there I don't have to reapply it it doesn't dry up it doesn't cake it doesn't hurt my lips it's so moisturizing for being matte like this is just amazing to me and I want more and I'm I'm guessing that these are super expensive I will pop up the price if I can find it but I really don't care these are so good and they're so skinny and thin and easy to travel with easy to store perfect formula like they're just everything I could ever ask for and it seriously shocked me because this, this was one of the last items 
trying to talk. I'm getting a little excited. This was one of the last items that I actually tried out from the bag of stuff. So I was like, I put it away when I was putting my Ipsy stuff away and it kind of just got hidden in with my lipsticks and I never tried it and I finally started using it and I reach for it all the time now. Now I have to remind myself to actually switch it up and give myself some variety. So that is everything that I wanted to discuss in this I hauled it but did I like it? Some of them were amazing and some of them weren't. Leave me a comment down below if you guys have any of these, if you've used any of these, if you've tried them out. Let me know your opinion on them. Maybe you guys have some different ways I could use things. I really want to know if anybody out there has used that Clinique foundation and concealer and how you guys use it and how you like it. Just let me know your opinions on it all, please. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you guys have a great Monday. Don't let those Monday blues get to you guys. We do what we want. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.